very likely that very you know, many of these corals will eventually die, and, and we 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 might see a widespread coral mortality in our region. I've covered coral bleaching events on the Great Barrier Reef going back more than a decade. I'm sort of familiar with looking at pictures and, and video of bleached corals. The footage from Florida in particular, that is really shocking. That's extremely confronting. This is happening uh, a month to two months in some cases ahead of the peak period where you would expect to see bleaching. So that suggests that the heat stress that's accumulating on these corals is gonna continue to accumulate for several weeks, if not m more than a month. If temperatures drop away, corals can recover from bleaching, although corals that are bleached tend to be more susceptible to disease and they also have trouble reproducing. I spoke to Ian Enox in Florida. He was really not prepared for what he saw. He said that pretty much every coral that he could see was affected by bleaching. In Panama, I spoke to Professor Sean Connolly. He's receiving widespread reports of bleaching there on both sides of, um, of, of Panama, on the Pacific side and the Caribbean side. I also spoke to Dr. Lorenzo Alvarez Felipe. He's devastated by what he's seeing there. First, I've just flown a drone to see whether we can see corals from the sky, bleached corals from the sky. And unfortunately, it's way much worse than, than what I was expecting. Bleached corals are everywhere. I just flown the drone over maybe 300 meters and bleaching is everywhere, which at least in the Mexican Caribbean, this has not occurred in the past. This would be the first time everything continues like like, like this that we will uh, see and and, and 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 basically see lots of corals dying and, and this is very depressing. It's very sad and to see a place that you that you love and that you know so well suffering in a way like this. It, it must be must be extremely difficult to cope with. The scientists are saying to me that there's very, very little that can be done right now to help the, the corals that are already in distress. There's really no doubt that the reason why the oceans are heating up is because of the vast amounts of fossil fuels that we've been burning for many decades. Really, until there are drastic reductions in greenhouse gas emissions, the outlook for coral reefs looks um, increasingly challenging.